What have I created? <laughs> and we laughed. Master, I'm the Lord of the Jungle and I'm about to eat. What will I enjoy today? A Clary casserole, some Campbell and Beaumont sausages, maybe a Wacoma ribeye, or an omelette made of Sue Perkins hands. Get the buffet ready, mm, Papa's starving. <laughs> Please welcome to the show, Julian Clary, <laughs> Lucy Beaumont, Sam Campbell, Sue Perkins, and Susan Wacoma. Me, a man who once hospitalised himself doing high kicks to Toxic by Britney Spears. Illy Lily Tom! Well, look, I've come up with a brand new format slash game. It's called Greg and Alex. Here we go. <laughs> I've got these. So there'll be some questions. You hold up, whether it's me or you, which you think the answer to, and we'll see how similar we think about things. <laughs> Question one. Who is the best at cooking? <laughs> oh, we both think it's you. Uh. <laughs> Who is the best at tidying up? <laughs> Who has the most trouble sleeping at night because of all the difficult thoughts racing through their head? <laughs> <laughs> Who bought the other one a present? <laughs> I got you a present because of, <laughs> of your troubled brain, so I got you a little... Uh, Thank uh, you. A little necklace with two feathers on. Thanks. <laughs> Prize task time. What's the category this week, you weirdo? <laughs> it's... The best single word object you own and love that gets the best reaction when introduced following a drum roll. Mm, wow. Five, <laughs> yes. five yes. points for the best single word object they own and love, and at the end of the show, the person with the highest score will take home all five... <laughs> ..prizes. Lots more. <laughs> Right now, Greg. <laughs> Hello, Lucy. Oh. What is it? An alien device. <laughs> <laughs> the her one word object it is... <laughs> is alien device. <laughs> Who is? <laughs> so that was in my mum's ear canal. <laughs> for about two years and 36 months. <laughs> so two years... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's that's another five, yeah. five years. So if you want to say it. OK. <laughs> I don't want to brag, but I took her to one of the best ear doctors in the UK. He said, whatever is in your mum's ear is not impacted wax. And then, basically, there'd been a UFO sightings <laughs> over, <laughs> over where my mum lived, just, like, like, literally, like, above the house. And then... The, all I'm saying is that... <laughs> <laughs> that fell out of her ear, and then the cat licked it and the cat disappeared. <laughs> <laughs> A jacket. <laughs> now we're getting somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> if I'm going out on an evening with someone I don't much like, you can flush that as you leave. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Sue. Greg's. Ooh. Oh. Made out of pastry. <laughs> yes. Oh my God. <laughs> Sensational. Your ears have crumbled a little bit over time. They have. The eyes are glue. Um, <laughs> and it took a long time, and some of it's under my fingernails. Mm. Wow. I, yeah. So you've surpassed yourself. <laughs> Hi, Susan. Oh gosh. Hi. What have you brought in? 
calendar. Oh. <laughs> doing a film towards the end of last year and you normally have like a big party and some people give you gifts and I was presented with this. <laughs> to this day I don't know what vibe I give off. <laughs> <laughs> but I just love that somebody looked at me at work and went, do you know what she wants? <laughs> a calendar of cows. <laughs> I mean the one in the middle. <laughs> It needs putting down. <laughs> Sam, the heat is on. What have you brought in? Cobalt. <laughs> Go on. Well, I used to live near Tempe in Australia. It was so close to the flight path, so planes would go over and the locals hated it. And they commissioned an artwork and it was like a sculpture. It was all kids with their ears, like hands over their ears. Like, ah! And then they changed how high the planes were flying. <laughs> Where'd you get the cobalt? Online. <laughs> <laughs> and you think it's good after a drum roll because this background story of a, it affected a plane. Oh, that story, yeah. I just, everyone was telling the story. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yep. I don't want to give anyone one point because I really enjoyed those stories. Mm -hmm. I'm going to give Sam two points and he better thank me for it. <laughs> I'm going to give Alien Device three because it's insane. <laughs> I'm going to give Julian and Susan four points. I think it's really egotistical of me to put Greg's as number one. Well, that's the way it's fallen. <laughs> Five points. Well done. So, <laughs> Go. Are we ever going to find out about that secret task, Alex? Maybe, Greg. Maybe right now. <laughs> Sam. Julian. Hi. Lucy. Are you okay. happy with me? Do you want to read it with me? No, you read it, you read it. You sure? Yeah. All yeah. right, OK. <laughs> right. This is not a team task. What? What? We've bonded. We've shared about oh, it. Nick Max. I'm, I'm so sorry. <laughs> this is not a team task. Find the secret task. You must never be in the same room as each other. Whenever the air horn sounds, you must replace anything you are holding and change rooms. Everyone must find the secret task before the task ends. In a way, it is a team task, because we've both got to succeed for the thing to succeed. Can I ask one question from you? Has the task been ever present throughout the whole time we've been here? A secret task? Yeah. No, it's been on my mind. He's not going to tell you. If we cross on the corridor, is that bad? You do what you want. So I can say hi occasionally? Yeah, OK. Please read the last line, Julian. Your time starts now. <laughs> OK. Where's so, it go? OK. I don't know. I don't want to hang about long. I would just like to say I find it sickening how well you two get on. <laughs> Every time they get together and do a team task, it's like watching the famous five. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God for Julian. When Sam was asking questions about the secret task, went, he's not going to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> Let's crack on. OK, here are secret sourcing Sue's, first of all. Bye. I'll let you know when I find it. OK. Shut, shut, shut. <laughs> no. In the oven, all empty. <laughs> OK. This is not the secret task. The secret task is under the initials. No. Please change areas. Hi, love. There's something underneath the big pineapple. The secret task is under the initials. Under the initials. Please change areas. Don't go in the sheds, there's nothing there for you. OK, I'm going to go up here to some initials. Under the initials? All right, there's nothing in here. <gasps> oh, my God! Hmm. Do 
a blank there. This is not the secret task. The secret task is buried under buildings. Secret task is buried under buildings. <laughs> All right, buried under buildings. Is there any, like, a thingy that looks like a building? No. <laughs> right. Oh, you sneaky beast. Buried under buildings. <sighs> Breathe. The secret task is beneath the taskmaster. It's in the garden. I can't see pictures of any buildings. Have you found the secret task yet? It's buried under some buildings. <laughs> You must change, you must change your I'm going to the taskmaster. OK. Under a building, the building. This... <gasps> oh! What did it say, Sue? Have you found the secret task? This is not a secret task. Ah. The secret task is inside. The secret task is often behind you. Please change areas. Buried under buildings, under the... Buried under buildings, under the... Underneath the taskmaster. It's under... Buried under buildings. It's under the building. Hang on a minute. The secret task is beneath... Oh! There's a T here. <laughs> this is the secret task. If you find the task fastest, you must choose one contestant who will lose five points. If you found it second fastest, you must choose one contestant who will lose one point. If you find this third, one gets a special hat. Fourth fastest, oh, I like the special hat. You must choose one contestant who will gain a point. If you find it the slowest, choose one contestant who will gain five points. You must not choose yourself. Only because I've never met him before and he's young and beautiful and he'll get over this. Sam Campbell! You must change areas. Can I come in there? Okay, yes. Yeah, so. I think it's in there. And I think it's underneath, um, Greg. Right. It's often behind you, which is there. It's underneath the Taskmaster, which is him. It's beneath the bloody initials. <laughs> I found it, Sue! I think, yeah, I found it! <laughs> I don't, do I just choose a name? Um, Sam Campbell! <laughs> Do you see what I mean about the famous five? <laughs> Don't go to the shed, there's nothing there for you. Fucking <laughs> ginger beer. What the hell have you both got in for Sam Campbell? What's. <laughs> right, the, did you hear the audience react when you both said Sam I Campbell? I didn't want to pick anyone. I didn't want to pick and anyone. And then Alex made me, and I can't for legal reasons talk about how, but it was. <laughs> Also, if they were very slow, then you might have given him points. We don't know. Sam, it only feels right I should get your comment on both women turning on you like snakes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, it's just exciting to know people are talking about me. <laughs> yeah. Here are the team of three searching and shouting. Press your horn. It's not in here, I don't think. <laughs> this is not the, the secret, secret task. task. The secret task is under the initials. The secret task has a secret door. Secret door. Oh, fuck it. Please change room. <laughs> secret door. Secret door. I mean, there's doors, but they're not very secret. Hello. Hello, Lucy. What do you know so far? I know that there's a secret door. Secret door? OK. Do you think it's a real door or, like, a secret door? I think it's probably a secret door. This is not the secret task. The secret task is often behind you. The secret task is beneath the taskmaster. Pardon? Is it down here? I don't know. It's not down here, the secret door. It might be. Is that a yes? No. <laughs> Please change rooms. Is there anything nice in there, did you think? Um, I couldn't possibly see. <clears throat> ah, Julian, welcome to the living room. Do you know anything yet at all? It's beneath the taskmaster. <sighs> this is the secret task. You must shout the name of your contestant in ten seconds from now. Sam Campbell. <laughs> Please change rooms, everyone. What were you saying just then? There's things of interest in there. <laughs> OK. Oh, hello, Sam. How are you? It's very infuriating, this. I hate looking for things. Psst. Hello. Just passing by. <laughs> yes. Under that? 
this lifts up? That's awesome. Wow. Oh, this is a secret task. You must shout the name of your contestant in 10 seconds from now. <laughs> Sue Perkins. We need to get Lucy in there now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll be honest with you, yes. I don't like looking for things. Right. Um, Sam, yeah. where's the task in here? TM is my clue. Thank you. <gasps> well, that is inspired. Thank you. Sue Perkins! I can confirm everyone has now found the secret task. <laughs> One of your better efforts. Oh, thank you, Julian. It genuinely sounded uh, with that last sentence that you were auditioning for a James Bond villain. <laughs> One of your better efforts, <laughs> Mr. Horn. <laughs> so Perkins and Campbell become the fall guys for this yeah. test. Oh. How did it feel, Sue? It would have felt like bullying had that gone on for Sam. He still got three out of five. <laughs> I thought I was giving him five extra points. Well, you might be. Ah, you might? Yeah. Everyone's talking about this guy. <laughs> <laughs> he has <laughs> arrived. <laughs> Pick the bones out of that point-wise, then. Well, I can tell you exactly how it works point-wise. Julian, you were the fastest, 6 minutes 30. You shouted Sam Campbell. He loses five points. Oh. 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 But, Susan, you were the slowest. You took 18 minutes. You shouted Sam Campbell, so he gains five points. Yay! Back to zero. <laughs> Sam, you were the second fastest, 8 minutes 50. You shouted Sue Perkins, she loses a point. Aww. Sue, oh. you were the second slowest, 16 minutes 5. You shouted Sam Campbell, he gains a point. Yay! Oh my god, this is a roller coaster. <laughs> Lucy, you were in the middle, 13 minutes 25. You shouted Sue Perkins, so Sue Perkins wins a special hat. Oh my god. <laughs> version of Handmaid's Tale. Yes. <laughs> Can you tell me the scores, please? Yes. Oh, it's such a tight scoreboard, Greg. Ooh. Sam and Lucy at the bottom with three, all the rest at the top with four points. <laughs> Should we get on with the next bit of the show, please, Alex? Oh, let's do it, Daddy. <laughs> Hello, sausage. Oh, hello, Sue. Hiya. Would you like me to bend over? I really would. <laughs> Complete the fortune trail. What is a fortune trail? This is a fortune trail. Fastest wins. Go from right to left. There are five tasks on the fortune trail. I will always start with a ladder. Down the fortune ladder, through Piggy. Is that a bag of salt? Oh, yeah. Classic. Your time starts now. The fortune trail. The concept of the fortune trail threw you a little bit, Sam. I've never heard of that in my life. No. And do you know why? It's because he made it up. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Brian Blessed. Is he real? Oh, he's, yeah, he's real, yeah, yeah. super real. Oh, wow. <laughs> Let's crack on. First to test their luck are Sam Cam and Sue Wo. Your time starts. <laughs> are you a superstitious person? Yes. Oh, good. All right. Walk under the ladder. Or put the ladder back in the shed. Under the ladder? <laughs> cool. So you're not that superstitious? Yeah, but like, I'm also like, I want to win. Find a lucky penny. Or put exactly 13 pounds on the lucky plate. Am I allowed to smash this? Yeah, you can smash it. <laughs> How do you tell if they're lucky? Oh, you'll know if it's lucky. How much have you got so far? One pound. Ah. Three pounds. Ten more. I'm done with that one. Stage two complete. 
40, 50, 13 quid. Stage two complete. Cool. Either spill the salt or throw all the salt over your shoulder onto the pasta in the, in caravan. the caravan. What? Oh dear, that's bad luck. Oh. And open the umbrella inside the shed. Or close these five umbrellas. One. Two. Oh. <laughs> Impressive. I found a lucky penny as well. Oh, well done. <laughs> 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 oh, and what's that? Toss five heads in a row. Head. One head. Right. Get that? Well, this will be easy. Tails. Heads. OK. So how many have I done? One. No, I haven't. It's heads in a row. In a row? In a row. You just did tails. What? This will take all my life. At this rate. Four. Wow. OK, so this will do it. Tails. Heads. Heads. Tails. Heads. Tails. 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 Hey, one head. Is that the head? No. OK. Maybe it just needs less tosses. Fewer. Heads, that's two. Three. Four. Four. We've been here before, though, haven't we? It's heads. Stop the clock. Not like winning matters. Yeah! How was it? Thanks. Great. Have you got anything of ours? <laughs> no. Oh, I do have still have one coin. Back on the table. Sorry, sir. Old now, and I, well, as soon as I saw there was a special coin, I thought, I bet that's a double headed coin. It's the sort of thing this dweeb gets off on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there were a few of them as well. There's one in the caravan if you've gone in there, there's one in that little money box there, there's one behind you on the door. They were dotted about. Oh. But wow. if either of them had worked that out, we would have been robbed of one of the more dramatic statements that Sam's made during this show. <laughs> well, this will take all my life! <laughs> Sam was very quick going down the fortune trail yeah. and he got five in a row in just six minutes 51. Wow, that's oh. nowhere near all your life! <laughs> <laughs> and Susan, nine minutes 49. Oh, well, there we go. Who's next? It is Julian, Lucy and Sue now. Are you a superstitious person, Sue? It's too late for that. <laughs> Lovely. Walk under it, there. Yeah. I'm not going to walk under it, am I? Find a lucky penny. How do I find a penny? Is it here somewhere? Can I skip on and come back to it? Yeah, of course. I'm going to come back to that. If I give them seven pound and a penny, then that sort of cancels each other out, you know, because if this penny isn't lucky, they've got seven pounds. <laughs> Either spill the salt or throw all the salt over your shoulder. Onto the pasta in the caravan. <laughs> oh, spill it. Now, what's happened there? Have you done what it said on the task? Either open the umbrella inside the shed. Yeah, I opened the umbrella inside the shed. I see. So you opened one of these umbrellas inside the shed. Damn your syntactical vortex! <laughs> In the shed, umbrella in the shed. I suppose the younger contestants will be better at this sort of thing. <laughs> what are you doing? Lucky penny! There's a lucky penny! So that goes on there. OK. Oh, there's a penny. Is it lucky? Toss five heads on a coin in a row. Each toss of the coin must be a standard coin toss. It feels like we've been here before with the lucky penny. Heads. Hang on, there's got to be something easier than doing this. I'm going to toss my head five times in a row. <laughs> On a coin. <laughs> oh 
Maybe there's a coin with two heads. No, these are all real coins. You're only looking at one side. Right. It's got two heads on it. OK, see if we can toss five in a row. <laughs> Sorry, I've seen it done on film. Yes. <laughs> we'll start again in the oh, I fancy finding it and then... I can just do it on there, yeah? Oh, <laughs> Sorry. Is that tossed enough? Well, I've, I've stopped the clock. Heads, I've stopped the clock. Four. Now, here we go. Five. Was that a standard toss, that last one? It was. And the penny in there. Jolly good. Yeah. You got a problem? No, 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 no sir. <laughs> Some firsts for Julian there. That's the first time we've seen you directly threaten Alex. <laughs> <laughs> Heterosexual male banter. <laughs> Um, what I wrote about you, Sue, is that you lost your goddamn mind. <laughs> <laughs> Do I allow Sue's head tossing? Mm. It did say they were meant to be standard coin tosses. Listen, I've travelled... I've been lucky enough to travel a lot. Uh, <laughs> just because we toss a coin in the West like this... Yeah. Let me we all know you. that in Peru, that's how they did it. <laughs> <laughs> Lucy, the thing that I'm most fascinated by is the fact that you have a singular inability to toss a coin? I've never done that. If someone's always done it, you know, um, yeah, usually guy. without being sexist, a, a man. A man? Yeah. You've got a, you've got a man who does that for you. <laughs> I mean, you know, I've, I've never packed a boot. <laughs> uh, Why would you? I'd say she was so much slower than all of them, despite finding the two-headed coin. Yeah. Oh. Um, Julian... You flicked it incredibly quickly. It was on, on your third go. You only have a 3% chance of doing it five times in a row. So Julian did the whole thing in four minutes, 12. Lucy, 11 minutes, three. Yes. And in the middle, we had Sam, six minutes, 51. Sue, six minutes, 56. Susan, nine minutes, 49. But Lucy did only put seven pounds and a penny on the 13-pound tray. So I'm afraid you didn't do all didn't of the do tasks. It. And just while I'm being a party pooper, Sue, I'm afraid it's not considered a standard coin toss anywhere in the world. <laughs> It's good I've got a jacket for this eventuality. <laughs> uh, <laughs> when did you do that? Um, I said I wanted to go for a wee and then I, I did it and then seen the guys backstage help me do it. Aww. So there we are. There we are. It means that, Susan, you get three points. Sam, four, but Julian, who thought this was a young person's task, wins all five points. <laughs> I think I'd like another, please. <laughs> OK, then, Greg, and night night. Ooh. Ah, Susan. Hi. <laughs> Julian. Hello. Good evening. <laughs> night night. Ah, thanks, thanks. <laughs> ah, another starry night. Might just adjust this to stay in the same frame. Perfect. <laughs> what the really? Yeah. Convince a child you're asleep. You must either have a nap lasting one minute with your face visible throughout. During this nap, you must snore and sleepwalk. Or you must have a nap lasting one minute where you are not in bed at all, but the child thinks you are. During this nap, you must snore and sleep talk. Most convincing sleeper wins. You have a maximum of 20 minutes. Your time starts now. Wait, who, who is this child? <laughs> Which method are you going to take? I'll go in the bed, I think. I'm going to do number one. It's going to be me with my face visible. Quite a good actress, so I'll just do it. 
myself. I'm not going to be in the bed. I'm going to be talking to this child and sleep talking, snoring. You think that's the best way? For me, yeah. I'm going to do the sleep talking. I want to have some movement, because when you sleep talk here, the body moves, so it's going to need to sort of move around a bit. I was made for this. I, I don't know if you know, but I trained at the Royal Academy of Dramatic Art, mate. <laughs> you think you're going to win this one? I think so. Oof. I thought that Silver Season looked quite sweet in their bedtime outfits, mm. and everyone else looked like they were members of a cult. <laughs> <laughs> so everyone, in a way, is planning to use their acting skills, with the exception of Julian, who I think is just planning to go to sleep. <laughs> We'll see. Okay, we're going to see the child now, watching Lucy and Susan and Julian pretending to be asleep. Okay. Hello, Flossie. Hi. Okay, this first person, it's a man called Julian. Julian, do you think he was asleep? No. no not. <laughs> okay, this is Susan. Her sound was a little bit more realistic. OK, and this is Lucy. Morning. It's time to get up now. Come on, then. Sleep? Awake. You could actually see her eyes open. She was like looking for her socks like that. I don't know how she would be able to get in the back end of bed when she was looking for her socks. Rata strikes again. Yeah. <laughs> it's I know it's annoying, but it's all I've got, so yeah. <laughs> let me have it, yeah. Uh, Lucy. Well, what I wrote down was some of the worst acting I've ever seen. I know, I don't get many acting roles, if you know. <laughs> I asked um, Alex during it if he could uh, just show us Flossie's reaction to your acting one more time. She reacted like this. Come on, then. <laughs> now it's time for Sam and Sue. So I've got my... Snoring string and my sleep talking stick. Of course. Yeah? Mm hmm. Here is Sue. Now. Well, see, what do you think of uh, what do you think I think she's the weight. I don't think her story kept on stopping and going and stopping and going and kept on going like on. 
really interesting. Right, well, there's only one more to see. I'm now going to show you somebody called Sam. saying Sam is asleep. Mm. Right. So we're down to Susan or Sam, the flamingo. I think she was awake. Really? So you're saying that flamingo mm. is asleep? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it looks like Rada has been defeated. <laughs> By a toy flamingo. <laughs> We haven't said anything about Sue. No, Flossie sort of saw through your technique because it was a bit jerky. I just really like the idea of stuffing a massive stick up a mannequin's ass and rotating it like a rotisserie chicken. <laughs> Sue went to a lot of effort to construct that, and Flossie just went, nah, she's not asleep. <laughs> <laughs> well, like, Greg, I think it is worth reassessing the techniques used by one of the sleepers. Ah, OK. Have a watch of this. Hello, child. Listen here. All you have to do is say that this is the most convincing sleeper. Seriously. Say the yellow one. The yellow bed. I'm going to get the production company to contact your parents. I'll give you £100. I'm going to figure out how to get it to you. £100 if you say that I'm the most convincing sleeper. Thank you, child. So the question is, who is the most convincing sleeper? Actually, give me one hundred pounds. One hundred pounds. Final answer. Who do you think was asleep? I don't think Sam was awake. Or Susan. If you can't decide between Sam and Susan, then that's absolutely fine. If you think they're both asleep. Do you think he would actually give me a hundred pounds? <laughs> Susan and Sam. Flossie, thank you very much for looking at these five people. <laughs> hey, yes, it's all, all fair and love and war, you know? And mm. those were the two that she chose. I think the least convincing sleeper... I feel like I've picked on you a bit, Lucy, but you... You just were. <laughs> yeah, I was. One point to Lucy. Got it. I, I think Julian was more convincing than the rotisserie. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to give Sue two points. OK. And Julian three points. And then the people that fooled Flossie by hook or crook, both getting five points, are Sam and Susan. Got it. Well done. <laughs> it's a three way tie at the top between Julian, Sam, and Susan, all on 12 points. Wow! <laughs> It's time to make your way to the stage for the final task of the show! <laughs> Who's going to lead the task out? Julian Clary, please. Mime the proverb on your card. There will be three minute long rounds. You must be waving at each other throughout your attempt, but you can make a single noise of the taskmaster's choosing. So, this is a team task. The waving bit's going to be really annoying. While miming, you have to wave to each other. <laughs> Any questions? <laughs> yes, sir. No, I'm just practicing. Yeah, OK. <laughs> so, first of all, Sam, you're going to be miming the proverbs to these two people here on your team, Lucy and Julian. But you cannot pass. And in round one, what noise can they make? I'd like Sam to make the noise of a steam train. <laughs> <laughs> So start waving and start miming on the whistle. <laughs> waving, Sam. Waving, Sam. Waving. Oh. Don't guessing? count your chickens before they hatch. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> and 
Gavin Cummings. Oh, watch the pot. You're welcome to use the steam. Kettle. <laughs> <laughs> The broth. Oh, correct. Oh, correct. <laughs> you must have you scored two points. Two points. <laughs> so it's Susan to mine to Sue. What noise can Susan make? A clip clopping horse. <laughs> <laughs> Drawing, painting, uh, victory. Those who write uh, throws a ball. Um, <laughs> I'm strong. The strongest. Fastest. Jousting. Fighting. The sword is mightier than pen. Yeah. No, pen is mightier than sword. Pen is mightier than correct. Pen. Yeah. A silver lining. <laughs> Goose is eggs. Eggs. Look at the uh, baskets. Baskets. Do you count your eggs in your basket? Give me your eggs in the basket! <laughs> wow. I can't believe the mighty horse was useful. <laughs> Team two win round one. There's yeah. two rounds to go though. So you are going to Sue's list. Okay. Uh... What noise would you like Sue to make? I was thinking a sort of auctioneer. Sort of a who give me five and a mercy. <laughs> Team of two, get ready to wave and mime. Go! A pony. Straight the horse. Oh. Uh, well, scratch the horse. Don't scratch... Oh, my God. Ooh! <laughs> 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 She killed the cat. <laughs> what sound is Lucy allowed to make? I would like Lucy to make the sound of someone falling off a mountain. <laughs> they need one to win this round. Money. Waving. Money. Waving. Waving, Lucy. <laughs> Doesn't. Waving, Lucy. <laughs> grow on trees. Correct. Correct. That's the end of round two. Money doesn't grow on trees. <laughs> It's one one, one round to count. Uh, what noise is available to Julian? The mighty bong of Big Ben. <laughs> <laughs> bong. Oh. Waving Julian. We're talking five words. Five words. First word. Waving Julian. Slip. Fourth word. Hello. Drink. Drink. And water is great. Mm -hmm. Oh, so um, water. Blood is, blood is thicker than water. Correct. Look. Look before you jump, look before you leap. It was on I the buzzer yeah, and he got got it on the buzzer, it's yeah. It's been given. Two yeah. to win. <laughs> You've got to get three, Susan. You've got to get three to win. What sound can Susan make if oh, she yeah. chooses? If you want to, a haunting whistle. Hello. Uh, laughing. Um, laughter's best medicine. Correct. Oh. No. Crying. Uh, don't cry to spill milk. Correct. Uh, sunshine, pick the fruit. Um, the, uh, f uh, dropping fruit. Um, orchard, trees. I've got the fruit. Apples. Apple tree. I've fallen over the apple tree. <laughs> apples falls. But the apples don't fall over the tree! Yeah. <laughs> uh, we'll have that's the final scores. Come down and join me. Who'd have thought that that would end in such a high-octane way? It was <laughs> an adrenaline rush. The team of three obviously came second, the team of two first. The team of three had got five right, they got six right altogether. Five points. Team of two, of team course. Of two? Yeah. How much did I give the others? Three feels fair. OK, so it's three points to the team of three, five points to the team of two! <laughs> It means, at the end of the episode, Lucy, uh, you come last with seven points. <laughs> Sue, 11. Sam, 15. Julian, also 15. Susan, also... No! She's won the episode with 17 <laughs> points! <laughs>
tonight, everyone's talking about the winner. It's Susan Wakoma! <laughs> For more Taskmaster, subscribe now!